first let us not waste time sir first one find the number of find the number of real solutions find the number of real solutions for the equation for the equation 5 power x into 8 power x minus 1 by x equivalent to 500 find the number of real solutions for the equation 5 power x into 8 power x minus 1 by x equivalent to 500 99.99 percentage of the students will do a mistake in this question will do a mistake in this question in case if you want to know what is the mistake in the question before seeing the solution kindly solve it on your own you will realize the mistake right kindly solve this before you see the solution in case if you are watching the video a little later find the number of real solutions for the equation now see here now one minute see here sir so 5 power x into 80 is nothing but 2 cube power x minus 1 by x 500 is 5 cube into 2 square 125 into 4 is 500 5 power x into 2 power 3x minus 3 divided by x equivalent to 5 cube into 2 square so this will become 5 power x minus 3 into 2 power 3x minus 3 by x minus 2 equivalent to 1 why because a power m by a power n is a power m minus n 5 power x minus 3 5 power x by 5 power 3 is 5 power x minus 3 2 power 3x minus 3 by x minus 2 equivalent to 1 so these is nothing but 5 power x minus 3 into 2 power 3x minus 2x x minus 3 by x equivalent to 1 i hope it is clear 5 power so these is nothing but 5 into 2 power 1 by x power x minus 3 equivalent to 1 5 into 2 power 1 by x power x minus 3 equivalent to 1 this is where most of the students will do a mistake the mistake they will commit is 1 power 0 is equivalent to 1 so 5 power 5 into 2 power 1 by x they will call it as 0 so they will or they will call it as this one so please write down till here then i will take it in a next slide so that you can clearly see it 5 into 2 power 1 by x power x minus 3 equivalent to 1 till here it is clear right now what is the mistake most of the students will do it what is the mistake most of the students will do it so this is nothing but 5 into 5 into 2 power 1 by x power x minus 3 equivalent to 1 is there they will hurriedly write it as anything power 0 is 1 so they will tell x minus 3 equivalent to 0 x equivalent to 3 they will tick mark answer as one integral solution one real solution but if you observe one power any real number one power any real number is also one one power any number it is also one so five into 2 power 1 by x is 1 2 power 1 by x is 1 by 5 so 1 by x will become log 1 by 5 base 2 which is nothing but an irrational number an irrational number can also be a real number answer is this and answer is this so answer for this question is two real solution some of the textbooks also mentioned the solutions as one it is incorrect answer is a two real solution a power zero equivalent to one one power any number is also one one power any number is also one two cases will satisfy this equation to get the answer right 5 into 2 power 1 by x power x minus 3 is 1 5 into 2 power 1 by x power x minus 3 is 1 anything power 0 is 1 so x minus 3 is 0 x will be 3 1 power any number is 1 so either base can be equivalent to 1 base can be equivalent to 1 
or power can be equivalent to 1. Please write down, sir. Either base can be equivalent to 1 or power can be equivalent to 1. 1 power any number is 1 or a power 0 is 1. A power 0 is 1. Two cases they are possible, sir. Anything power 0 is 1, 1 power any number is 1. 99.99 .99, they will take only these cases these cases and equate power with zero so power not only can be zero base can also be one please write down base can be one or power can be one or power can be zero sorry sir base can be one or power can be zero base can be one or power can be zero i hope this concept is extremely clear to you lot of mistakes you will do in a lot of problems today's class is just making a student identify the conceptual mistake conceptual mistake which you will do it i hope it is clear anything power zero is one or one power any number is one first question answer is two real solution another blunder 99.99 percentage of the students including teachers will do this mistake if 2 plus root 3 is one root of quadratic equation if 2 plus root 3 is one root of quadratic equation find the quadratic equation find the quadratic equation find the quadratic equation another question where most of the students are the teachers who do not have subject knowledge they will also do 99.99 percentage of the students as well as the teachers right who just teach by hearting 20 problems will do a mistake in this problem what is that mistake we will see it 2 plus root 3 is one root of the quadratic equation now what they will do is mistake what is the mistake they will do so they know that if alpha is 2 plus root 3 beta will become 2 minus root 3 in some rs sagarwal textbook one formula is there x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta equivalent to 0 which is x square minus 4x plus 1 equivalent to 0 this is what most of the students and students yada raja tada praja students will be like that the way the teacher is there if the teacher is teaching formula student will become muggers if the teacher is teaching conceptually students will also start thinking conceptually mistake please write down the concept concept a x square plus b x plus c if this is a quadratic equation, if this is a quadratic equation and a comma b comma c are rational numbers, a comma b and c are rational numbers, then only, then only if one root is, then only if one root is p plus root q, another root will become p minus root q. Please write down. Another root will be P minus root Q. Without using any condition, please don't use it. Please make a note of it. So, what is the answer for this question? Cannot be determined uniquely. Cannot be determined uniquely. You cannot say that if one root is 2 plus root 3, another root will be 2 minus root 3 because nothing is specified about the coefficient of x square x and constant. Only if a, b, c are, only if a, b, c are rational numbers, then only this concept is used. It has to specify in the question that a, b, c are rational. Nothing is specified about that question. If nothing is specified, a, b, c will become real numbers. Real numbers means it could be rational as well as irrational. So, you cannot take this concept. Second, a blunder mistake done by almost all incompetent teachers are probably people who think that they are trainers but do not sit and understand the concept they are just nothing but the vomiters of right seeing the 20 solution and vomiting it in the class 
concept please make a note sir ax square plus bx plus c only if the coefficients are rational numbers then only if one root is p plus root q another root will be p minus root q another root will be p minus root q i hope the idea is clear second question please write down the third question third one each and every problem please listen carefully sir second one third one we will solve some of the irrational questions now see here first question again third one 99 percentage of the students again they will do a mistake in this question 99 percentage of the students will do mistakes in this question right teachers also often do this mistake right number of solutions of the equation root x plus 1 minus root x minus 1 equivalent to root of 4x minus 1 first we will see the mistake today's class is extremely important sir mistake what they will do is they will try solving the question root x plus 1 minus of root x minus 1 equivalent to root 4x minus 1 squaring on both sides if the squaring on both the sides if I square it on both sides, x plus 1 root whole square, it is x plus 1 plus x minus 1 minus 2 root of x square minus 1 equivalent to 4x minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 cancel. So, these minus 2 root of x square minus 1 equivalent to 4x minus 2x, 2x minus 1, squaring on both sides. 4 into x square minus 1 is 4x square minus 4x plus 1. 4x square, 4x square cancel. Minus 4 equivalent to 4, minus 4x plus 1. x is nothing but 5 by 4. They will, they got the answer as 5 by 4 and they will do a mistake. Answer is, it is one solution, which is a mistake. It is a mistake. We will see why it is a mistake why it is a mistake x equivalent to 5 by 4 answer is 1 they will tick mark that 5 by 4 is one solution right now please write down the concept concept what do you mean by solution solution means left hand side equivalent to right hand side solution means left hand side equivalent to right hand side if i substitute 5 by 4 5 by 4 plus 1 minus of 5 by 4 minus 1 which is root of 9 by 4 minus root of 1 by 4 equivalent to root of 4 into 5 by 4 minus 1 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 equivalent to 2 1 is not equivalent to 2 this is an anomaly anomaly means answer is not satisfying the question answer is no solution please write down very very important class watch the entire class watch the entire class you will learn a lot of concepts sir root of x plus 1 minus root of x minus 1 equivalent to root of 4x minus 1 squaring on both sides a square plus b square minus 2ab it is 4x minus 1 so here it is nothing but minus 1 plus 1 cancel 2x if it goes that side minus 2 root of x square minus 1 is 2x minus 1 squaring on both sides 4 into x square minus 1 is 4x square minus 4x plus 1 minus 4 equivalent to minus 4x plus 1 x we got 5 by 4 he asked whether this is the solution solution means left hand side is should be equivalent to right hand side just check it out 5 by 4 plus 1 5 by 4 minus 1 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 equivalent to 4 into 5 by 4 minus 1 root of 5 minus 1 1 equivalent to 2 1 equivalent to 2 only Shakuntala Devi will tell 1 equivalent to do that too she will do a mistake in a penultimate step 1 is not equivalent to 2 answer is no solution I hope you got an idea after taking it we have to understand the definition of a solution solution is nothing but solution is nothing but left hand side is equivalent to right hand side solution is nothing but left hand side is equivalent to right hand side then a student might ask me 
what is the difference between a solution and a root what is the solution and a root now please write down sir please write down the question difference between solution and a root difference between solution and a root difference between solution and a root right now a root is a value which will make f of value equivalent to 0 if i substitute the value right hand side will be 0 a solution is nothing but intersection of two curves a solution is nothing but a point of intersection of two curves please write down i will take an example then i will explain it a solution is nothing but the point of intersection of two curves a root is nothing but where the value will make y equivalent to zero a value will make y equivalent to zero a value will make y equivalent to zero so what we got 5 by 4 is an anomaly. I will come to that anomaly once I am discussing a quadratic equation. Why it is not happening? Now, just I will explain. Suppose there is an x and y axis. Suppose there is an x and y axis. Example, there is a curve like this. There is a curve like this. And there is a curve. like this now if you see here there is a curve like this what are the points of intersection anything that is specified in red color anything that is specified in red color anything that is specified in red color anything that i specified in red color they are nothing but the point of intersection that is nothing but the point of intersection that is nothing but the point of intersection 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6 points of intersection we got it. Then what is a root? Root is nothing but where y equivalent to 0. y equivalent to 0. Anything that I specified in violet color which is making f of value equivalent to 0. f of value equivalent to 0. That is nothing but the root that is nothing but the root that is nothing but the root a solution a solution may be root a solution a solution or we will take an example then we will write it i hope it is color there are multiple points of intersection in that point of intersection in that solution anything that makes the solution right hand side equivalent to zero that is called a root any solution that makes the right hand side equivalent to zero that is called a root i hope you understood the difference between solution and a root solution is nothing but the point of intersection of two curves you will get some points the point which will make right hand side equivalent to zero then that solution will become a root root is a subset of solution root is a subset of solution you will understand it better when i take an example a root is a subset of solution a root is a subset of solution please write down Please write down a question. I hope it is very clear. One is a red color. Red color is nothing but the point of intersection. Anything that is violet color, it is nothing but the root. There are many points of intersection out of which few points of intersection will make y equivalent to 0. If y is f of x, that is called nothing but a root. Please write down. Question. Find the number of find the number number of common roots find the number of common roots for the equation listen carefully to every problem sir find the number of common roots for the equation x square cube plus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 equivalent to 0 x cube plus 2x square plus 7x plus 3 equivalent to 0. Listen carefully, sir. 
both are equated be zero so i can equate both the i can equate both the curves if i equate both the curves i will get the point of intersection of two curves so what am i doing is first finding the solution x cube cancel 3x square minus 2x square which is which is nothing but x square 4x square minus 3x x square minus 3x plus 2 equivalent to 0 so x minus 1 into x minus 2 equivalent to 0 x is nothing but 1 comma 2 what are 1 comma 2 these are nothing but the solutions why it is a solution because i am equating both of them if i am equating both of them i will get the point of intersection i will get the point of intersection for a point of intersection for a point of intersection to become a root it should satisfy right right f of value should be equated with zero f of value should be equated with zero f of one 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 it is not equivalent to 0 f of 2 8 plus 12 plus 8 plus 5 not equivalent to 0 so how many common roots are there for this question answer is 0 answer is 0 a solution may or may not be the root solution may or may not be the root the root could be a solution i hope it is clear I hope it is clear. I hope the idea is clear. I hope the idea is clear. Please write down, sir. When you take two equations, equate with each other, I will get the solution. X equivalent to 1 comma 2 are the solutions. If the solutions make f of value is equivalent to 0, then it is a root. 1 comma 2 are the point of intersection of these two curves. But for it to become a root, right hand side should be equated with 0. f of 1 is not equivalent to 0. f of 2 is not equivalent to 0. 1 comma 2 are solution but not the roots. Kindly reply in the live chat if this concept is clear to you. Is this concept clear to you? Kindly reply in the live chat. Not a single doubt you will get it in my class. Not a single doubt you will get it in my class. Kindly reply if this is clear to you. Praveen, take some water. Everybody kindly reply, sir. Each and every question is a beautiful question which will enhance your thinking ability, which will check whether the formulae based learning is giving a conceptual clarity a student who has got conceptual clarity has always won the game not necessarily the student who is just a formula based mugger everybody kindly reply everybody kindly reply i hope it is clear it's all about your presence of mind sir it's all about having your concepts absolutely very very clear to each other right please write down one more question sir when this question came into the mind, suddenly an original cat question came into the picture. I don't know what all students use to solve this one. The teachers also start teaching them formulae based learning. Two SCs, A plus B plus C, S minus A, S minus B, <coughs> S minus C. It is nothing but 1 is to 7 is to 4. A plus B plus C. A is to B is to C. Please write down, sir. A is to B is to C. A is to B is to C. Equivalent to how much? Options. 8 is to 10 is to 6. Second option. 9 is to 4 is to 12. Third option. 7 is to 8 is to 9. Fourth option. 11 is to 5 is to 8. Anil Nair's way of solving. Five seconds. Anil Nair's way of solving. See here. I will not even solve this question. This will take five seconds to solve. See here. S minus A is. I will not even write this. S minus A is to S minus B is to S minus C is 1 is to 7 is to 4. 7 is maximum. 
if it is maximum b contain negative sign b should be minimum in the ratio b should be minimum in the ratio b should be minimum s minus a one is minimum if it is minimum a should be maximum answer a ratio should be maximum finish five seconds it will take to solve the question right s minus a is to s minus b is to s minus c again see here here a b c are positive real numbers here a b c are positive real numbers positive real numbers is nothing but s minus a is one now what i did is i just used a maximum and minimum approach this is maximum if this is maximum anyway this is constant a plus b plus c by 2 b has got a negative sign so b should be minimum b should be minimum in the series b should be minimum in the series b should be minimum s minus a is 1 1 is minimum a has got a negative sign a should be maximum a maximum b minimum answer is 11 is to 5 is to 8 over answer very very logical way to solve this question i hope the idea is very very clear and for your information it's a cat question and people say that the cat paper is a difficult paper cat or an ssc or a bank paper they are not difficult papers they are a different paper if you know all the concepts if you know smarter way of solving then you will clear the exam in the first attempt right priya i think it's an easy question s minus a is 2 i am repeating the first method for you s minus c is 1 is to 7 is to 4 so s minus a is k s minus b is 7k s minus c is 4k if i add it 3s minus of a plus b plus c is 12k 3s minus 12s c is 12k so s will become 12k a will become 11k b will become 5k c will become 8k answer is 11 is to 5 is to 8 i hope it is clear 11 is to 5 is to 8 11 is to 5 is to 8 this is a traditional method method one method one right you don't need to have these method one understanding if you have the concepts very clear another one please write down one more question these you don't need to solve all these maxima and minima i hope priya it is clear to you other students it is clear to you if you are solving this and getting the answer then you don't need to subscribe my channel and learn the optimal methods anyway when the results are out you will see a Probably a difference of one mark can create your chances or kill your chances. Next one, please write down. In an exam of 60 questions, another teachers also do this mistake. In an exam of 60 questions, right answer carries one mark. Wrong answer carries minus one by three mark. Zero for not answering zero for not answering right is nothing but right wrong is nothing but wrong answer how many distinct net scores are possible how many distinct net scores are possible another question how many distinct net scores are possible in an exam of 60 questions, right answer 1 mark, wrong answer minus 1 by 3 mark, 0 is not answering. How many distinct net scores are possible? Again, 99.99% .99 of the students and the trainers will get wrong answer. I will tell you what is the mistake that they will do. Will get the wrong answer first solution in an exam of 60 questions right answer one mark and wrong answer minus one by three now it is nothing but there are 60 questions assume that a student writes that paper get all right get all of them right if all of them he gets right the score will be 60 score will be 60 worst case he gets all of them wrong he gets all of them wrong 
he will get minus 20. Am I right? Best case is all of them right 60. Worst case is all of them wrong minus 20. Right? Now, I do one mistake. So, I will lose one by third mark. I will do two mistakes. I will lose two third mark. I will do like that n number of mistakes. n by 3 I will use. Every time there is a fall off from 60. 1 by 3 down. Again 2 by 3 down. Again 3 by 3 down. Again 4 by 3 down. So, the deviation is nothing but 1 by 3, 1 by 3 for every incorrect. For every incorrect. So, what I will do is all right is 60 all wrong is minus 20 now see here this is nothing but this is nothing but tn is a plus n minus 1 into d so what they will do is maximum largest value is 60 lowest value is minus 20 plus n minus 1 every time there is a deviation of 1 by 3 80 equivalent to n minus 1 into 1 by 3, n is nothing but 241. They will tick mark the answer to be 241. They will tick mark the answer to be 241. Why it is 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 incorrect, 1 by 3, minus 2 incorrect, minus 2 by 3. From highest value to the lowest value, every time for a negative, the score is dipping by 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3, which is nothing but the difference. N is 241, it is a mistake. Where is a mistake which we will do? Suppose, this is 58. I will write 58 to 1 by 3. 58 to 2 by 3. 59. 59, 1 by 3. 59, 2 by 3. And next is 60. And next is 60. See here, sir. 58, 58, 1 by 3, 58, 2 by 3, 59, 59, 1 by 3, 59, 2 by 3 and 60. 60 means all 60 are right. This case possible. 59, 2 by 3, 59, 2 by 3, 59, 2 by 3 is 60 right, 1 wrong. Am I right? 59, 2 by 3 is 60 are right, 1 is wrong. 1 wrong means 1 by 3 down. 1 by 3, 60 minus 1 by 3 is 59, 2 by 3. But total, how many attempts he made? 60 is right, 1 is wrong. How many attempts he made? 60 plus 1 question. 61 questions he made. But actually in an exam, how many questions are there? 60 questions. That means he only created one question and did whether it is right or wrong. This case is wrong. I hope it is clear. 59, 1 by 3. 60 right, 2 wrong. 60 right, 2 wrong. 2 wrong means 60 minus 2 by 3 is 59, 1 by 3. This case wrong. That means 60 plus 2 is 62 questions are there. But according to the questions, there are only 60 questions. 59. Only 59 he attempted. All 59 are right. Possible case. 58, 2 by 3. 59 right, 1 wrong. 59 right, 1 wrong. 59 minus 1 by 3 is 58, 2 by 3. Total 60, it is possible. 58, 1 by 3. 59 right, 2 wrong. 59 right, 2 wrong. 59 plus 2 is 61. Total 61 questions, not possible. 58. 58 means all 58 only 58 he can attempt. He can not attempt any question also. Only 58 he attempted. All 58 are right. Which is nothing but 58. From 58 I don't need to see. Why? Because the next previous number is 57 2 by 3. 57 2 by 3 is 58 right 1 wrong. What is 58 plus 1? 59. Number of questions can be less than 60. I hope he can leave out few questions. So, 241 is incorrect. How many cases are not possible? This case is not possible. This case is not possible. This case is not possible. Answer is not 241. Answer is total distinct net scores are 238. 238. TN is nothing but 
a plus n minus 1 into d a plus n minus 1 into d 60 is minus 20 plus n minus 1 into 1 by 3 n is 241 in that 241 3 cases are eliminated again i am repeating which are the three cases 60 all 60 attempted all 60 are right 60 it is possible 59 2 by 3 60 right to one wrong 60 right to one wrong total he attempted wrong is also an attempting the question 60 plus 1 is 61 not possible 59 1 by 3 60 right to two wrong attempted are more than 60 not possible 59 is only 59 he attempted all 59 are right possible 58 to 2 by 3 59 right one wrong so three are not possible and the reason 238 i hope it is clear today's class we are discussing all the possible mistakes made by a student i hope the idea is clear kindly reply in the live chat if the idea is clear everybody kindly reply in the live chat each and every class of mine should add a lot of value should add a lot of value i hope the idea is clear clear right now one more question we will solve then i will tell you a shortcut for this shortcut for this write down one more in an exam in an exam of in an exam of 60 questions one more in an exam of 60 questions right answer one mark wrong answer minus one by four mark zero is not attempting zero is not attempting how many distinct net scores are possible how many distinct net scores are possible after this we will discuss the shortcut how many distinct net scores are possible see here how many distinct net scores are possible solution all right all right is nothing but 60 right answer 1 so it is 60 all wrong 60 negative minus 1 by 4 minus 15 so tn is nothing but a plus n minus 1 into d so it is 60 equivalent to minus 15 plus n minus 1 into 1 by 4 n is 301 301 is mistake shortcut shortcut right answer one mark right answer one mark wrong answer is minus one by n mark minus one by n mark zero is not attempting not attempting number of distinct net scores number of distinct net scores is nothing but total scores possible total scores possible minus summation of n minus 1 in the previous question see here it is right is plus 1 wrong is minus 1 by 4 0 is not attempting 0 is not attempting total how many questions are there total questions are 60 total questions are 60 so answer is number of distinct scores number of distinct net scores is nothing but 301 minus of 4 4 minus 1 summation 3 summation 3 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 301 minus 6 answer is 295 summation of n minus 1 these scores are not possible these scores are not possible as long as the negative marking is minus 1 by n 
please make a note of it you don't need to sit and start eliminating that cases i have already developed the concept just use this concept i hope it is clear i hope it is clear one and it is minus one minus one Priya, it does not matter how many I am taking. Idea is to tell you how many distinct cases are not possible. To prove that in this case, six scores are not possible, I took total eight cases, 58 to 51 at a step value of 1 by 4. In the previous cases, I wanted to tell you that three cases are not possible. So, I just took some one or two integers here and there just to tell you, right? Which all cases are not possible? Right one mark, wrong minus one. Zero is not attempting. Number of distinct net scores is total scores minus summation of n minus one. Please make a note of it. Please make a note of it. Jitendra, y equivalent to minus 20 I took. Where did I took minus 20? Minus 20, it is nothing but if all the questions are there, if I make all of them incorrect, 60 questions are there, all 60 are incorrect beta. So, minus 1 by 3 into 60 is minus 20. Minus 20. One more questions which we will solve, then we will get into our problems. Total number of questions are 100. Right answer 1 mark. Right answer 1 mark. Wrong answer minus 1 by 5 mark. 0 is not attempting. 0 is not attempted. Not attempted also we will take a case. That will be an advanced level. So how many distinct. How many distinct net scores are possible. How many distinct net scores are possible. So best case. All 100 are right. 100. Worst case. All 100 are corrected, all are incorrect. So, Tn equivalent to A plus N minus 1 into D. 100 equivalent to minus 20 plus N minus 1 into 1 by 5. N is 601. So, answer is 601 minus summation 5. It is summation 4. 601 minus of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Students who want to check whether 10 cases are eliminated or not, do it leisurely after the class. 601 minus 10. Answer is 591. Answer is 591. I hope the idea is clear.